Hello everyone. Welcome to SMT Guru. We are going to discuss dactylography in 10 minutes. Dactylography is nothing but study of fingerprint. It is a study of epidermal ridge pattern. We are going to discuss at least 15 to 20 MCQs in 10 minutes. Okay. Dactylography. What is dactylography? Dactylography is the study of fingerprint. So study of epidermal ridges is known as dactylography. It can be asked as MCQ. It is the most reliable method of identification including identical twins. So this can be asked in exam. In identical twins, the method of choice is dactylography. It is also known as Galton system. It is also known as dermatoglyphics. The complete formation of fingerprint that takes place at 24 weeks of intrauterine life. In comparison, the proof of identity that should be minimum 10 to 12 points should be matched according to Locard. It was first explained by William Herschel in 1858. Later it is improved by Galton and later it is further improved by Edward Henry. The first fingerprint bureau was started in Reuters building at Kolkata. There are four types of fingerprint loop, all arch and lastly that is composite the most common one is loop the least common one is composite that is mixed let let's let's identify the different types of fingerprint you can see this is the loop why it is loop all of you you can see here entry point entry point and exit point on the same side either on the ulnar side or on the radial side it has one core and one delta. Okay, loop has one core and one delta. What is core? The core means, the core means it is curving ridge. I'll just write here. It is a curving ridge. What is delta? Delta means it is a conver convergence of the ridge. Convergence, convergence of the ridge, usually from the three sides, usually from the three sides. Whenever one core is there, one delta is there, then it is loop. That is the most common one, 60 to 70 percent of the cases. Okay, so loop, it can be ulnar or radial, entry, exit points on the same side. There is one core present and one delta present. Core means that is a curving ridge and that is delta means convergence of the ridge. Second one, you can see here, second most common that is the OL. OL you can see here, so there is a complete circle formation, circle of 360 degree formation that is there in OL and remember in case of all, you will see two deltas. You will see two deltas. Two deltas. So you can see here, all 30 to 35 percentage. Ridges may complete 360 degree circuit around the center of print. There are two deltas are there. Lastly, that is the arch. Arch, remember, there is no core, no delta. Okay. Arch can be plain arch, it can be tented arch at an angle that is. Lastly, that is the composite. The composite means there is a at least two different pattern. So other than the basic arch, around two to three percentage that is composite. There is one more entrance point all of you MCQ. What is Locard principle of exchange? In any case, in any crime, there must be some trace as some evidence every contact leaves a trace that is known as Locard's principle of exchange there must be some fingerprint or there must be some other other findings 
so in any crime that is known as locard principle of exchange so dactylography is very useful in n number of cases n number of criminal cases murder rape uh, other cases actually identification insurance so so many things actually so this is about the dactylography there are 10 mcqs so it is used in identical twins also next development of fingerprints in latent print latent means invisible print invisible it is not visible you can make it visible by a method known as development that is nothing but processing of the print so then what are the substances used in processing or development in non porous surface like example glass or glossy painted surface metals plastics in that we use certain substances one we use some heavy metal so that is known as vacuum metal deposition by using zinc or gold it is the most sensitive method it is the most sensitive method so and also you can use super glue you can use uv light in non porous surface porous surface like example paper like example uh, crime scene wall fingerprints paper cardboard in all these condition we can use certain other substances like known as uh, desferoxamine that is the most sensitive one ninhydrin which give rise to purple color silver nitrate black powder magnetic powder iodine fuming osmium tetroxide all these are used in case of porous surface you can see here there is a development of uh, you know fingerprint by using black powder okay this is about the development next what is the best technique the best is argon laser argon laser it can be used up to 10 years even 10 year old fingerprints can be identified by using argon laser then in decomposed body what are the what is what is the method we follow so in decomposed body so in decomposed body this can be asked in exam decomposed body so first it should be preserved in formalin then if fingers are shriveled then you can use 20% acetic acid if skin is dehydrated then the finger can be soaked in 3% solution of potassium hydroxide then you should take the histological section to identify the fingerprint up to 0.6 mm okay then what is poroscopy this is also very commonly asked in exam the poroscopy it is the study of pores so what is this say example this is the fingerprint so this is the fingerprint there are some pores are there okay so study of pores the study of pores is known as poroscopy the pores means opening of the the you know sweat glands at the epidermis size shape arrangement numbers that is a classical of a particular person that is known as poroscopy poroscopy is useful when partial fingerprints are available okay so 1 mm area contain 9 to 18 pores it is useful in partial fingerprint next we are going to discuss very important topic that is mutilation of mutilation of fingerprints so there are five important condition given in case and ready 33rd edition fingerprint pattern is retained there is a loop pattern is retained but change in distance between the ridges is increased or it is uh, altered so that is seen in case of acromegaly please remember you can see here acromegaly and rickets in acromegaly and rickets there is a alteration of distance okay this is one moderate epidermal ridge atrophy that is seen in case of celiac disease celiac disease you can see there is a finding dermatitis herpetiformis incomplete ridge atrophy dermatitis so it can be dermatitis permanent loss of fingerprint you can see here leprosy okay it can be leprosy it can be electrical injury it can be radiation injury or one anti cancer drug capacitabine okay so all these are the permanent causes what are the permanent causes 
radiation bone injury, leprosy, electric injury and capacitor bind. Ridge alteration that takes place in case of scleroderma. So this is scleroderma. Okay. This is asked recently in INICET exam. Please go through this. Okay. Yes. Now we are going to discuss. There are some conditions where fingerprints are completely absent. They are usually genetic disorders. You just need to remember the names. One is the Bates syndrome. Bates syndrome. Okay. And second one is the Ginser Cole. Ingman syndrome, Ingman syndrome, Nageli Jodasan syndrome, Dermatopathia pigmentosa reticularis, Adermoglypia because of defect in so uh, Smirk had one gene defect. So all these are genetic disorders. So remember, fingerprint is very commonly asked. So there can be 15 to 20 MCQs that can be framed from this topic. Please go through this again and again. And thank you. Happy reading.